You're about to enter a world of mystery where everything and no, you know what? I don't care. I don't care. This box has been way overdue. I can't wait any longer. You guys know my name. You know the name of the show. You know what we do here. Let's check it out. This is the Gamer Block from Nerd Block from May 2017. It is now, as of today, June the 23rd. I just got this now. And yes, I got an email that said, like, sorry for the delay, and there was like a printing error, and blah, 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 blah. You got the email right there, as I'm talking. And then I got another email that said something about, like, we're going to send you the shirt right away, that we'll send you the main shirt later. So it kind of sounds like, I guess, whatever shirt they had intended for this month was not ready. So I'm going to get, like, some extra random shirt or something like that. And I guess later we'll be getting, like, the real shirt next month or... I don't know how that works. And apparently Horror Block, also from Nerd Block, had similar issues with their mailing, so maybe you guys haven't gotten your horror blocks yet. I don't know. Now, for me, the main reason I got this was because it was a Street Fighter item and a Tekken item. So without further ado, let's check it out. And yes, this is the Emperor uh, Mature box and everything. And oh, actually. It has a thing here. It says, uh, Dear Nerd Block customer, we thank you for your continued patience. We're still experiencing a printing delay, but didn't want you to wait any longer. So we included a mystery shirt from a past block as a bonus. Plus, you'll also receive your main shirt once available. Any questions at info at um, nerdblock.com, nerdblock team. That, huh, interesting. Okay, so that kind of repeats what I just said. Now I saw something awesome, but let's kind of wait. And, um... Oh my god, there's so many things in here. I don't, I don't, mm. Okay, first, this is the big thing here that covers the box, I think. This is awesome. There's also an Assassin's Creed. So yes, we got Assassin's Creed glasses, and that's fucking awesome. And let me see here, real quickly, you guys can see what the glasses look like. There's two of them. Ooh, let's be careful. Okay, so this one... Is like the Assassin's... I don't know how clear you guys can see it, to be honest. But um, it has the Assassin's Creed logo on one side. And it has, you know, like the, the title, the name, whatever you want to call it. So, if it doesn't look clear, I'll just put a picture. And then this other one... Oh, oh, this is different. This is like... Um, I'm not sure if that might be the Terminus machine they use to um, do their stuff. You guys correct me. I only played the first game for a bit but it has a logo, but um, again, I'm not sure if you guys can see it on camera or not, but if not, I'll put a picture, you know, so you guys can see it. So I clean these glasses. Okay, next thing I see is a Street Fighter item, and this is um, Kid Robot Street Fighter. Pretty cool. And in the back, there's a huge selection, including Bison, Birdie, Cammy, um, Charlie, Laura, Karen. So basically, it's all the Street Fighter 5 characters. Because they all got their um, Street Fighter V designs and everything. Don't know if it's focusing or not. But yeah, let's see who's in it. Where's my... There we go. Oh, well. They need it after all. I can't wait. Okay, and to further add to the waiting... There's a shirt in here, I want to put it for last because apparently it's not the shirt we were meant to get. So, we got Zangief, the Red Cyclone from Mother Russia. So he's a pretty cool figure. Here's a cool, real quick, 360 on him. Oh, I guess his arms, yep, his arms go up and down. I think his head, no it doesn't. But his arms go up and down, so there you go. That's pretty cool. And... Let me see what else we got here. I'm going to keep the shirt best for last. We got a Gamer Block Custom Collectible from Wax Design. Um, sorry guys, not 100% familiar with what this is. Is this, it might be a shield related to Zelda. Because you know how it is, you're kind of sneaky. It might be a Zelda item, but they don't want to specifically say it's Zelda. I don't know. If it's not, you guys can uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And let's see what else we got here. There's a thing here. Oh, we got a comic book. Oh, there we go. Tekken comics. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, um, there was a Tekken comic book that came out. I bought it on um, free comic book day. It might be the same comic book, but this cover is still a bitch and kick-ass cover. I'll review it eventually. And 
we got something called Rhymes from Gamer Block. All I know what this is, this is kind of like that super electronic joy thing where this thing is supposed to, I guess, unfold to represent like a SNES cartridge or something. And maybe in here it's a game code or something. So it's a 360 degree shooter, platformer, hybrid, you can choreograph a dance. Choreograph of Dance of Destruction, insanely spectacular battles and set pieces. Ride feels like the explosive games of yore, pumping megapixels in true 21st century style. So the code might be in here, so I guess I shouldn't really open the box. I'll, like that other game, I'll probably play, oh yeah, the code is right here actually. And um, here's a little magazine and stuff, which is pretty cool. Little magazine with little random things. But now, let's see the shirt. Again, keep in mind that this shirt was apparently not supposed to be in this box. So... Oh, yeah! Now, this is cool. This is cool. This must have been, because it looks like one of them, like, what you call ugly sweaters. It must be, I guess, for the December block or something. But it's like, now you're playing with power with Nintendo. And you see the console and the controllers. And uh, and he has zapper guns and all that. This is awesome. So I'm glad with this. It's pretty cool. Now, one thing I do got to say, um, the box did come with a Tekken item, a Street Fighter item, an Assassin's Creed item. All of these things were here. So I'm, I am curious, what was the shirt going to be, though? Like, what was the original shirt for this month? I guess we'll find out. So anyways, guys, this is Mark Rodriguez here. This is the Unboxing Zone. And what can I say? It was a delay, but it was worth it. I love the cups. It's always cool to have cups based on video game things. Assassin's Creed is an awesome thing. I love the figure because, you know, I have to collect figures and it's Zangief and everything. And the shirt is awesome. The shirt just shows Nintendo, like, show your Nintendo pride, you know, with, with, with pride, I guess. But yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. And check out the game. The game, I can't really complain too much because we got it for free, right? It's a free Steam game code. We'll check it out. So anyways, guys, Mark Rodriguez here. Um, whenever we hear more about, like, I guess the shirt for May that was supposed to be a shirt for May, I'll tell you more about it. Anyways, guys, see y'all next time.